2016. I'm trembling. I'm always trembling. Trembling is like a dead body after it's been shot. I'm dead inside. They'll come back soon, so I've got to speak quickly. I was sold two years ago. I can't get out. I'm an animal. I'm owned by them. They do whatever they want. I was nice once. I've got long legs. But there's burns. I'm an ash tree. Just a dustbin. Sometimes they refuse to wear condoms. And if we refuse them, then we're beaten. I can't even look at my back. I know there are gashes there. I really hate my hair. I was 12. My father, he was always drunk, always angry, and his friend, his best friend, who was 40, started raping me whenever he saw me. He threatened to tell my dad if I told anyone, he threatened to ruin me. So for two years I did whatever he wanted. He gave me syphilis. Herpes on my mouth. I just, I just really hate my hair. What? They're not coming in, you sure? They don't know? Okay. Okay? I got caught. My, my friend's, my dad's friend. Someone walked in when he was raping me against the wall. He told my dad that I'd put him up to it. <laughs> my dad actually believed him. My father beat me with a wooden piece of furniture and threw me out. I couldn't walk for weeks. I was on the run. My father had abandoned me and my mother... Well, she was with him so she couldn't act, exactly speak out. I had no place to go. I was on the streets and this man, he took me in and my brother, my only friend, he turned his back on me too. And then that guy started beating me and I, I just I had no place to go, nowhere to turn. I went to the police, I told them that they didn't believe me, they just chased me out for wasting their time. I ended up at a, a train station. There's this young guy with blonde hair. He told me about a job. He brought me in. He sold me to them. I can't leave. 
He said, if I try to leave, they will kill my family. I still love them. He tied me to a bed for seven hours. Handcuffed my hands. Made me naked. And then six of them, they... Your boyfriend or your father or the police. 